James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 26, 2023, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, NOAA announces that a mystery CME has sparked a geomagnetic storm. Unexpectedly, a CME hit Earth's magnetic field on July 25th. 2023 at 2235 UTC time, sparking a G1 class geomagnetic storm. It is unclear if this is the early arrival of a CME originally expected on July 27th or a completely different coronal mass ejection, which was previously overlooked. Because of the uncertainty, a minor geomagnetic storm watch is still in effect for July 27th. Now, I have some huge questions here. You can see that the KP indexes are all different. The college index has 15 hours of geomagnetic storm, G1, and 3 hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. When we look up at the estimated planetary, the storm started earlier. This is the one that NOAA and NASA use. Started last night from 6 to 9 here centrally, and since then we've had an additional nine hours of geomagnetic disturbance, three hours of geomagnetic storm. The same thing is repeated basically on the Fredericksburg Index and again on the Boulder Index. So there's a good chance that this is exactly what occurred. The geomagnetic storm started at about 6 p.m. last night centrally and has been ongoing through most of the day today. I need those that don't know the basics just to read the first sentence here. A coronal mass ejection, a CME, is a significant ejection of magnetic field and accompanying plasma mass from the sun's corona into the heliosphere. Please notice that it says plasma and not solar winds. Solar winds are created by coronal holes where the canopy is missing the black holes that you see in the sun. Coronal mass ejections are caused by filament eruptions or solar flares, and one most recently was caused by corona dimming, laughably. And that's not coronal dimming for those that think it may be. It's corona dimming, a new term that causes flares as of about two weeks ago. Now here's the huge problem. They're claiming that last night's impact going into today, that it hit at 2235 UTC time, was a huge uptick, as you can see, in solar winds up above 550 kilometers per second. Please note, during this event, this is the event on Discover that they were showing y'all, plasma only went up to 19 centimeters cubed, which we see almost daily without any solar storm activity per the KP index. But this huge jump in solar winds from 380 up to over 540 and 550 is absolutely ridiculous. Again, any solar flare or filament eruption and any coronal mass ejection actually spews plasma, not an uptick of solar winds by 200 kilometers per second, one kilometer per second being over 2200 miles an hour. So what is going on here? How did this coronal mass ejection and the ones from the last two months spew solar winds instead of heavy plasma? This again makes zero sense right out of NOAA and NASA. I hope y'all have seen the facts here, but there's more. Here is a seven-day outlook, the last seven days, of our GOES X-ray flux caught by our GOES satellite in orbit just around Earth. All these spikes are actually coronal mass ejections caught as they occurred, or just after they occurred, by the satellite. Now, we've already enjoyed these, which didn't actually produce any solar storm whatsoever. A good guesstimate is that we're in this period here, which we had a few flares. One of them was long-term, but they were all in the C flare range. So if that is the case, 
this tells us that our atmosphere is almost completely gone. Again, I point to the definition of coronal mass ejection being plasma ejected from the sun, not solar winds, without any explanation. They've been reporting this as fact over the last several months, where we see a huge uptick in solar winds, no real uptick in plasma that we don't see on a daily basis, but the KP index goes crazy per the solar winds, which should only be caused, again, by a coronal hole on our sun, not a solar flare or a filament eruption. With that said, I'll leave it up to you to do your own investigation. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, ladies and gentlemen, anything is possible in Bizarro World.